What is up guys, it is the 10X Killer here, and today I'm starting my new series called Adobe After Effects 101. Basically, I'm going to be teaching everyone the basics of how to uh, run After Effects, how to get it all going, and uh, make the interface friendly to you. When I first opened up After Effects, I was actually terrified of the interface. I didn't know what the hell was what. So, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead, and I know... It's, uh, it seems to be changed, but screw that. Anyway, what I like to do when I first open After Effects after a fresh install, I go to Edit, Preferences, and Appearance. Now, I don't like this kind of a light gray tone to it, so I go ahead and grab the brightness and I bring it down. Now, some people like the lighter tones and they maybe want a white one, so they can just bring this all the way up and you have a white After Effects. Now, that gives me a migraine, so I like to bring it all the way down. Makes it look really nice. I also like to check After Effects label colors, because it'll uh, make those darker too. And then I uncheck Use Gradients. It makes it look much better. I don't like that smooth gradient effect there. Um, so that's how I make my interface look. Now, the basis of it is how to import your clip, how to just do the basics of edits on it. And it's very simple. You can go to File, Import multiple files or just file and let's see I got these uh, files here now it's, instead of doing multiple files I like to just do import file and highlight both of them and then hit open and it'll bring both of those in another thing you can do is you can just come to your project uh, I don't remember what this is, exactly this is called but it's the project area project view and just go ahead and double click that and it'll bring up the import much easier you don't have to go through the file go ahead and bring them in and they usually should load up pretty fast there they are. What I like about this is these are raw files uh, right off my capture card. And look at that, they're like 1 gigs and they actually load in pretty fast. Uh, this isn't like Sony Vegas though, it's not going to be what, one of those simple things you use just to do minor edits. This is for the big stuff to make your videos look top notch. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in, I think it's this one. Can't really tell. Uh, yeah, that's the headquarters game. So, this is uh, me and a friend who were playing headquarters, and as you can see, when I try to go through the timeline, it's not all completely loaded. It's not just going to be me smoothly being able to go through here. That's because After Effects gives it a much higher quality. So, what you can do is you can come to this area here, and you can set the quality to half or to third. And this is just for your view. The final render will not be in this quality. It'll be in the highest quality that you choose to render it out as. Now, since these are raw captured files, the resolution is now 1080 by... No, 1980 by 1080 or something like that. Full 1080p HD. And I don't like to uh, upload videos like that because they take much longer to render and then to the file size is bigger and they take longer to upload. So what I like to do is come to Composition, Composition Settings. I can find it. <laughs> a little tired here, so it's about 1 a.m. So there it is, full HD. Go ahead and uh, just change this. You can uh, go ahead and change it here by using the default. Or you can just go ahead and change these to like 1280. And I cannot type. There we go. And 720. And then this is the duration of it. This is how you would edit how long it is. And I got the resolution set to third. And then set the frame rate to 59.94 because I'm using an HDP VR. If you're using anything else, you want to set it to about 30 frames a second, though. So there we go. Now you notice it is kind of zoomed in now. So to fix that, go ahead and click your composition view and kind of scroll out. Go ahead and grab the edge, and you can just kind of freeform it in. Or you can hold shift, and it'll maintain its ratio. Okay. Come up to fit up to 100%. I'm going to make this full again so we can really see it. Now, what I did there is I also made it so the edges are a little bit off. That way, we don't want to see the little static bar down here or the black uh, borders. So, there we go. That's just the basics of uh, importing a clip. Now, a lot of people ask me, where, how do I split a clip? Well, you don't really split in After Effects that I know of, at least. Basically, you would just come to the edge here and drag this in. And... And you come to the edge here, for where, the, where you want the end of the clip to be. That's all it's going to show, is just this small little part here. 
So there's that. And that's just the basics of uh, importing a clip and doing some minor, just sort of a clip edit here. And uh, in this series, I plan to get really in-depth in and show a lot of what you can do in After Effects. But this being the first episode, I don't want to get into too much stuff. We're going to be coming back to a lot of this stuff. Probably not the uh, making the interface look better. I know. Performance is slow. Leave me alone, Windows. So, basically... Like I said, I want to get a lot done with this. I'm going to show you guys major effects you can do without having to even go out and get any plugins. Um, I know a lot of things like that. Uh, I'm going to be doing color correction in After Effects. There's so much more that can be done with the series, so I hope you guys stay tuned to it. Uh, just rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comment section, and I will get to them. I'm not one of those people who's just like, ah, oh, that question I don't really need to answer. Uh, if it needs to be answered, even if it really doesn't, I will still answer the question. So go ahead and post your comments down there if you have any questions, uh, any suggestions for a video, go ahead and leave them down there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, rate, comment, and subscribe.